This morning, I rescued a man. Let's talk about that. I'm Nick. And I'm Vito. From Elwood Park, New Jersey. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. Today's episode is brought to you by the YouTube original channel, Geek and Sundry. If you keep up with what we do on our main channel, you may have already noticed that we created an episode of Written by a Kid on that channel. Check out Written by a Kid. Check out our episode called Goth Boy. If you haven't watched it yet, we'll have a link at the end of the video so you can go and watch that. You play my goth stepfather and I play your two-year-old, turning three-year-old stepson. You make a great toddler. Thank you for well, that. I've always thought that. I've always waited for you to tell me that. Happy Labor Day. I'm wearing this shirt today in honor of the working man, especially the men who label themselves with their own names. And also we're using this shirt in an upcoming video. Stay tuned for that. I, I got a couple of things to share. Yeah, I want to bounce, bounce them off of you because I've been a hero. Is it going to hurt me? I've rescued a man. No, just thought. It's a soft bounce. But yeah, I I think it's an opportunity for introspection and to learn something about myself. And that's what we're all about on this show. Introspiring. Introspiring. Introspire with us today. First of all, last night I had a dream that I was in a contest where I had to eat my shoes. <laughs> And I was against this girl. Yeah, and the she annual was into the it. annual shooting contest. And in I was Finland. I was I was appalled that I had to do this, but I was at least excited that I had an edge on her because I was wearing flip flops. Yeah, oh yeah, and that's so, a, that's animal product. I was you can I eat was, that. I was I was literally biting and eating. I know what it's like to eat your own shoe. That's what dreams can do for you, and it, it's horrible. I don't recommend it. What did she have like a Reebok and, pump or something? Yeah, she had no, well not a <laughs> let me let me. She didn't have a Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> shoe from the late 80s or whenever that was no but she had like a running shoe so she she had a work cut out for that was tough. her she was still beating me then i get in my car and i'm coming to work in the still in the dream no okay this is this is in waking life got it this is when i rescued the man <laughs> i'm anxious to hear about this so i'm driving into work you know right when i pull out traffic's usually backed up like vroom, almost from my front door you know, you don't have to do this. You you walk out your back door and just come in here, stroll in here, what? and just Sometimes start working. My kids have like left something on the path and I have to like step over it. I mean, that's not easy. Yep, yep, that's right. And so I'm in bumper to bumper traffic this morning. It's unusual for it to be that backed up, and I'm not even on the highway yet. And then I come up to I'm halfway to the light, and I see that there is a guy in a car in the middle lane. Uh, just like a five lane road, the middle lane is a turn lane, left and right. So he's in the left lane going my way. Just stopped, just there. He's on his phone, oh. his car, and people are going all around. I'm like, oh, gosh, get get a life. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm thinking. Okay, you know, because I got to get to work. We got stuff we got to do. Oh, yeah. And then it hits me. As I see that there is a convenient parking space right there, I could pull over and help this guy. Huh. I pass it. I keep going. I'm almost to the light, and I'm having this inner battle of it's the hero within me and the villain within me having a conversation. Well, you, it's 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 his old car's fault. What's he doing driving a car? I got places to be. I got to get to work. I got stuff I got to do. Look at all the people behind me. Somebody will stop and help the guy, or at least push him out of the road. Or, yeah, right. So your or, you mind know, is saying, put him out of his misery. What you know, whatever the whatever the need is, I don't know. Your mind I, is saying no, and your body is saying let's go. <laughs> it's one of the. It's, sure. one, it's one of those situations. Right. I, I, I just want. I have. I, I don't know. That in there. I don't know. But then the hero within me wins out, and I say, you know, I, I just, I, I gotta help this guy, and I gotta help all the traffic because it's 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 clogging up the traffic for miles. You know how it is, one little car, and this is right in the middle of the road. So I decide yeah, right before the traffic light, where I would turn and get on the highway, and then regret it for the rest of the day. Yeah, not your life, but just the day. Yeah, I I pulled over into a parking lot. And I said, I'm going to park, I'm going to get out, I'm going to go, and I'm going to push this guy out of the road. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, were you, were you I ate a this? No. Because then it would have seemed official. No, but I'm I... I'm here, my name's Link, I'm a mechanic, and I'm here to push you out of the road. No, but I had Dream eating a flip-flop just like two hours earlier. Yeah, right. So I get out of the car. Had you stayed at a Holiday Inn Express the night before? No, why? 
So I get out of the car and I start walking up the sidewalk back to this guy. And I got about 100 yards to walk. And I'm thinking, uh, my chest is already getting pumped up and, you know, the adrenaline's flowing. And then all of a sudden I hear, hey, stop. And I turn around and I, it was the parking attendant from the parking lot I had parked in. So I'm walking this way and I turn around and look at the guy. And I realize that he's a parking attendant wanting me to pay him. Oh, yeah. Hey, stop. He wants the hero to pay. Said, no, I'm only here for a moment <laughs> to help a stranded motorist. I'll be back. I literally said, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I didn't even oh, wait for his response. Oh, yes. He's like, I'll be back. Okay. And then I turned around. I walked up that sidewalk. Waited for traffic. to. I didn't stop traffic. I waited for traffic to kind of. You like watch out like this. There was, there was a, a, a plumber getting rummaging through the back of his van, parked right there, parallel parked right beside the guy on so the he curb. He was wearing one of these. He was, he, well, he's wearing like a white, white, he looked more like a painter, but he was doing plumbing stuff. It said okay. plumbing on his van. Not that any of that matters. <laughs> it matters to me. He was right there beside the guy and he wasn't, it's like he did the dude didn't exist. Hello, there's a car out here backing people up for miles. And I said, excuse me, Mr. Plumber, can you help me? Push this guy out of the road. And he was like, uh, yeah, let's do it right now. There's no cars coming. So, oh, like, so it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm ready <laughs> like, to go. Oh, I didn't see. So we go out there. Instant hero. I go up. I knock on the window. The guy didn't see me coming. He's on the phone. I'm like, doop, doop, doop. We will push you out of the road. I'm, I'm using this language, this type of inflection with him. Now, this is dangerous. So we push him out of the road. It really wasn't that dangerous. Well, it, we, but I did save his life. He could have gotten hit. We could have gotten hit. I put him to the side of the road. He, he says... Thank you, thank you. How can I ever thank you? Well, he just said thank you. <laughs> and then uh, the plumber went back to his thing. You know, I was kind of, he left me hanging for the high five, almost. Like, mentally, he left me hanging. Yeah, right, I get it. He didn't give me a high five. Yeah. I go back to my car. Well, I walk back down the sidewalk, and you see adrenaline, and the, my, my chest was full of bravado. And Were you really walking up, upright like I that? Just felt, I felt like I had better posture. I get in my car and I come to work and uh, here I am. Well, telling you about it. Thanks. For, it, thanks for saving somebody. It's great, huh? Thanks for doing your but part. But here's the thing. There was that moment. That that moment of should I help? Should I do it? And my inclination, I guess it's selfishness to be like, no, 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 no. I got to do this and I got to do that. And look at all these people. You well, know? usually, you know, the interesting thing about the timing of this is uh, that uh, that that was that was me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was that, me. That was me in disguise testing you. No. Oh, good. Uh, actually, like an angel. This has happened. You think he was an angel? I've never. I, I don't. Well, I don't want to say I've never done this. I've, I, since I've been in Los Angeles, I have not stopped to help anyone in traffic. But I'm going to say my excuse has been every situation I've passed. There's already been what seems to be a number of people on the scene. But you came at that window of time in which he had no help. You know. Because once you and the Mr. Plumber started helping, then everyone else was like, okay, I'm, I'm off the hook. There but, was a lot of time, though. By the time I, you know, I had this mental bout with myself, parked, had a sparring match with the parking attendant, walked 100 yards back up, you know, 80 people could have stopped and helped. I bet 200 people passed the guy. Now, when, how, when you went back to the parking attendant, did he say, oh, you came back? I saw you save someone. No. Thanks he, for doing your part. He, he wasn't even there. Really? That's no. Anticlimactic. That, that's why I'm telling this story here, so that I can get accolades from somebody. You're not giving me what I want, so I'm hoping you in the comments can give me accolades. Or at least tell me how you have saved a life, you know? Well, Be on, the before, hero! Before you finish, I want you to know... <laughs> before I finish? That okay. This has been an episode of What Would You Do? And John Keonis is coming <laughs> right now! <laughs> I think John Keonis. Link, um... <laughs> you really... You really came through. You're that, you're that guy from 4040. Primetime 20? Yeah. I'm not Chris Hansen. This isn't, that's not what this is about. I'm John Keonis. Yeah, that dude, the dude was well over 18. Um, <laughs> now, that was an actor. His name's George. He's going to be coming in in a second. It was a real car, though. It was a real Very car. Very convincing, right. broken down vehicle. It was, well, they called it a picture car, actually. It's one they use in TV and film. Okay, yeah. Uh, what were you thinking? I was... Honestly, I was thinking I had better things to do. Because we've got you right here on camera. So here you go. 
This is you about to pass the man, and then we see the look on your face. We see you questioning I your, think my your lips own morality. Are, my lips are moving. I'm saying, get a life. Yep. It, see, then, then suddenly your face changes. You see that? Yep, that was the moment of heroism. I, yeah, I... Now, what is it about you? Just, you, uh, just tell us. What is it about you that makes you a hero? I'm, 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 I wouldn't call myself a hero, really. I would... Is this on? I wouldn't call myself a hero. I would, you know, I would just say I'm a normal guy who saw... Uh, another dude in need and and then i saw a plumber there too and uh well let me interrupt you i don't want to uh, before you finish okay <laughs> and let you know that this is actually an episode of punked and ashton kutcher is coming <laughs> to let you know that hey man that wasn't john keonis i'm ashton kutcher i don't know how he talks but uh dude you've been punked the whole thing was a setup okay. rhett did it what your friend rhett he did it he totally did it all where's the where's the funny the funny part of the joke though right there's no Usually I don't. There's a I don't think this one's actually going to air, but we have to try a bunch before we get the the good ones. Funny part of the prank here. So, uh, this is, this congratulations! Is, this is an interesting man. turn this episode has taken. <laughs> like multiple role playing. I'm making it like Inception, but a TV version of Inception. It's a show within a show within a show. Be the hero, people. Or if you can't be the hero, act like John Kenyonis or Ashton Kutcher. Those are your options. Or you, you can act like Ashton Kutchner, like my mom calls him. <laughs> I love you, Mom. She watches every day. Oh, she just saw that. Oh, Jason thought we were going to hit it again. Talk Shakespeare. I think this is a sweet spot on the wheel, isn't it? Because that's a new one. Yes. Doth thou feel thyself are thine hero now, Mr. Neil? Retio, Retio, wherefore art thou? I am here next Retio. to you. Oh, I don't see you. My hither, come hither. My vehicular carriage has broken its wings and needs, I need thine assistance. I doth am your heroism. I believe the parking attendant is summoning you for a word. A2 Brute? <laughs> and then Christian just ignored him because he didn't want to say anything that would make him cry.